So this is my business partner. What's up, dude? Nice to see you. Let's go, man. Uh, you want to hang out with us in the limo? Let's do it. Okay, let's, let's go. Come on in. After you, good sir. Thank you. Time for some limo talk. Yo. What's up? We're here, man. How's it going? We're ready to hang. We're hanging in the limo. We're man. in the limo. How does it feel to be? If you want a drink? You know, I'm, I'll take a drink. You can, grab a grab a soda. Grab a water. Grab a Powerade. We got I've we got a little bit of everything. Years, I might just take the water. Hell yeah! There you go. So, uh, Daniel Oki, the man himself. Okay, so we connected on Facebook. I saw kind of some of the stuff that you're doing. Honestly, I was just super intrigued. And here we are. Here we are. Yes. In a so limo. Yeah. We're, we're getting to know you a little bit. So, um, first off, how about you give us like a 18 second about you? Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'll start the timer. Yeah, that <laughs> um, yeah so my name's Dan Oki. My wife and I, we run a personal finance online education company. Oh, yes. And uh, we've, we've helped hundreds of students get control of their money and build systems around automating Ooh. kind of the Ooh. daily stresses and confusion about a lot of, you know, a lot of financial direction we all have, yeah. right? We've been told our whole lives that we need to go certain directions and it's kind of confusing when you actually have to get into it because no one's sure. actually ever shown you how. Right. Okay. And that's, we answer that question. What, how? Give me an example of like a lesson that you've taught. Yeah. So for example, we, we focus a lot on, on couples. Okay. Um, but, you know, a lot of that comes to, you've got these two different financial universes that come together, right? Yeah. And so you think about, you've got a typical entrepreneur who then marries a girl who's used to security and stability. Oh gosh, man. Isn't and, that some drama? Oh, you know, you've, you've been there, right? Oh, and yeah. so you have to have those conversations of, I'm going to take these risks yeah. and how do we do this together in a way that you're not freaking out the whole time. So our marriage isn't on the rocks and That's I can right. comfortably, comfortably build this company or we can do it right. together, whatever that may be. So you talk actual logistical ways put X amount in here, put X amount over here to play with and burn it up kind of a thing. Mechanics. It's kind of like, uh, you know, marriage therapy mixed with financial advice. Absolutely. I yeah. love it. Marriage so, therapy. I like it. Money marriage therapy. We're going to quote that. I get the MMT man. trademark. There you, yeah, there you go. We'll, we'll file so, for that So guy. is it, um, tell me about how you make money with that course um, or are there other ways how have you monetized it? How have you made it worth your time? Yeah, absolutely. So online course, everyone should build an online course. And it doesn't have to be about money, right? You okay. should, if you can go get educated, go read 10 books on a subject and build an online course. Yeah. Ooh, I like that, Because, man. you know, I'm a big fan of real estate too. I know you guys spend a lot of time there. Um, yep. And sometimes though, the cash flows you're looking at aren't necessarily astronomical unless you're doing some of the cool things you guys have been able to do and teach. Sure. Um, but, you know, an online course with building a relatively small audience, you can be starting to cash flow two to $600 a month totally. just by putting that content out there. So you're saying you can make a little extra dough without having to do much. All you got to do is start educating. Absolutely. Just get started. It doesn't have to be complex. I think fear of perfection is a huge pre totally. preventative measure that right. people start to feel and they don't, they don't take that next step. Yeah. So, so what's the structure? I guess if you, if you might be asking financially, the course is it a one-time pay? They get the course for life. Is it a monthly subscription where mm. you, you know you're going to get that? How, how are you? What's the most attractive for them? And obviously, it benefits you. Absolutely. So typically, when it comes to course content, people typically want the information. That's why they're coming to you for that help. Sure. And you you shouldn't charge. You shouldn't undercharge for your content. You've put out this energy and effort, you've gathered it. Right. And so a lot of times, especially we're like, we're in the middle of COVID-19, right? Yeah. Um, we don't want to necessarily, uh, you know, people don't have as much money as, as they maybe did in the past, but they still want to get ahead. Right. And so building payment plans and building that structure can, can provide new payment options that will help them. Yeah. The other aspect is when you start putting out enough content, subscription models all the way. There's a reason you love you love subscri subscription. Oh yeah, model. I mean think about Amazon. I mean Amazon's the greatest subscription model of our time. Oh totally. Man. And then you got Netflix and all the all the other good ones. So you know, built getting up to that point, starting at a one-time payment or even a you know a, a right. couple installments and then moving up to a subscription. Absolutely. So um, somebody is interested in your course. Okay, how do they find you? 
Yeah, so it's uh, Sensei Financial, C E N T S E I Financial.com. Clever. I like it. Yeah, Sensei. We, we were up too late and now nobody can pronounce it. But that's, <laughs> uh, it that's just shows right? names don't matter as much as you think they yeah, do. People right, still find don't you. Don't get it's true. hung and up on that. Just get started. Just yeah. get going, man. So come check us out. Our money programs work. We've helped hundreds of people. We'll help you too. Dude, I love it, man. So outside of course, how do you make money, man? What like what do you do? Like there are different phases, of course. What phase Absolutely. are you in? What does that look like? So I'm starting to get into the consulting and helping other people build courses. Okay. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. So it's you know, so you've you've done this. Now you're taking it to the next level. Absolutely, and you should always be doing that. Once yeah. you figure something out, teach other people how to do it, and I love move that. to the next step. Yeah, I love that. And uh, I'm starting to to work with some some big time course creators and helping them optimize some of their processes. And okay. Take those learnings, and we'll teach them to other people too. So yeah. how, um, what's your like goal? What, where do you want to end up with all this? What, your dream, if this goes every bit as awesome as you're hoping, what's next? Yeah, you know, a lot of ways, we talk about financial freedom and it's a really important goal I think everybody should have. In a lot of ways, you can achieve financial freedom today just by getting started. And um, I'm living a lot of my dream just by just by acting and working now. Because sometimes yeah. if we feel like we have to have this arrival point, we're never we're never satisfied. And it's good to always be hungry, but it's also good to be content and also be living life today. Because if you stop doing that, totally, you you end up just kind of disgruntled and always unhappy. And sure. I want to be happy today yeah. while I build the future. Right. So the end goal while I'm choosing to be happy today is, yeah, I mean, 10, 10 million net worth and then go to 100 from there you know yeah. and so you got some big big financial goals absolutely and but, yeah so how, how do you how do you want to get there give us give us the mechanics of the mechanics the, the of daniel there. strategy <laughs> so I'll, i mean i'll just tell you what we teach right yeah. yeah and so a huge step that that was big for us and is building that first financial foundation. And yeah. the reason for that is while you're building wealth and acquiring assets, you wanna be able to have some sure footing on. Let's say a COVID-19 happens, you don't have to go pull out of assets sure. to cover the short term. Sure. Eventually, once you get enough assets, even if a storm happens, you're, you're gonna be okay. Right. But uh, while you're building it, you need to you need to have some emergency savings put aside. Not necessarily your whole life savings because we believe in the velocity of money. We need that flow. Yeah. We need that cash flow, and we want to minimize consumer debt. Okay. And uh, and then from there, it's it's acquiring assets. It's real estate. It's building businesses. It's buying businesses. It's yeah. um, generating more income so that you can acquire more assets up in, up until that point. And there's a lot of strategies to do that. There's online courses. There's real estate. There's Picking people up in limos, whatever that may be. Dude, yeah. Party in the limo. Well, 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 one thing I love that you said, this has actually been a common theme of, of some of the entrepreneurs that we've picked up, is it's okay to be happy now, right? A lot of the gurus will teach the whole, um, you, you know, don't have fun, you know, live off the ramen, do nothing, live, live in your mom's basement. Scrap and save. Even if your business is doing 500 k a year, live in your mom's basement, wait for the exit kind of an idea. So. It's kind of a common theme. You talk more about that. Like, why is it yeah. important to enjoy now? Um, you know, and, and how do you balance enjoying now, but also putting away enough investment for your future to keep buying assets? Because you're gonna die. <laughs> that's, Time. that's why it's important. Yeah. That's true. And um, <laughs> taking, well, luckily, we know when we're gonna die. That's right. right. We yeah. know the exact <laughs> moment. So, I don't believe in being stupid. You know, right. if you don't, if you can't right. afford. To do both and don't do both, right? You got to yeah. prioritize something, but you can. There's a lot of ways that you can prioritize and put systems in place where you can take that month-long trip to Europe or that cruise or go hang out in New York City for a weekend and continue to progress along the way. It's just an intentional decision and making those decisions consciously and then knowing where every dollar is going. Yeah. So I'm. You, you said something. You know, I for me, I'm obsessed with like systemizing and process and everything yeah. like that. What's one system that everyone should employ in their financial strategy? Yeah, goal-based budgeting. So, budgeting. Um, I mean, I I I love putting something. I, I'm not a big. I'm actually. I actually hate budgeting. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think I. I think I budgeted like 18 times and failed 18 times. Yeah. So right. I had the same problem. And my wife, when we got married, she was like, "We need a budget." I was like, "Heck, no! I do not. I'm not going to do this." And she, um, 
eventually we had to come to a compromise. I was like, okay, I need a system for this where I'm not going to have to sit down for three hours and put in every transaction. Oh, God. But I want to know where my money's going and I want it to be going to the right places. Yeah. So, goal based budgeting, typically most people think I need a budget, but they don't include the next clear step on their financial roadmap. And we call it the three phases of wealth. Okay. And so, if you pair a budget with a clear plan and then you automate the entire budget, money's just going to be automatically flowing to that goal. And we created a budgeting system called the CAP uh, budgeting system mm. that basically automates, shows you the bank accounts where your money should be going so it's earning interest until you can invest and acquire the assets, uh, whatever wherever that needs yeah. to be. And uh, that, that system has proven to be really, really effective. The first time we implemented it, we paid off 20 grand of debt in six months while we were in college. Yay! Wow. So Atta boy! You, you can, it, it works. And so, okay, automate. How? <laughs> Right? Yeah. I don't have a budget. Yeah. I have an op- I mean, my wife just goes to town and I just say, okay, I'm going to focus on income. I'm going to make, I'm good at making income, right? Yeah. How do I, you know, this helps me save, this helps me prioritize. How do I, like, when you say automate, is it like true automation? I don't have to think about it? Yeah, it's a good question. So I'm, I'm selfish. I need to know for myself. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, if, if you've ever automated anything, you know that it's not, or nothing's ever completely automated. But we want to minimize five, the amount. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, ninety-five five. We want to minimize the amount of time we spend on it. Okay. So you can make all the money in the world, but if you just spend it all, right. you're not making any real progress, right? You Sweet, have, man, totally. Um, I shouldn't have said that in a little. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, that's true. <laughs> and, and so we need to make sure that we're actually progressing and actually building our our worth, our sure. net worth, and acquiring sure. those assets. And so. Um, Remind me of your question. How how do I actually automate? Yeah, how do you right? automate? Is yeah. It so, software is it? A- yeah. Yeah. So there's there's tons of tools out there that, that actually work, and a lot of it's just being intentional, right? So there's um, first first step is to automate tracking. Yeah. You there's free tools out there. Mint.com is a great tool. Just log in, create an account, set up your bank accounts, add everything, it, and then it'll automatically start assigning. Hey, I saw you went to Walmart. That's probably a groceries expense. Yeah. And then you log in once a week for 20 minutes. If you're married, discuss that with your spouse. And then if you're single, check in and make sure you're not blowing the bank. And then automate the portion that you're not spending to be going to an account or investment that where it's going to be making you money. And that, that process should take 20, 30 minutes a week and you're knowing where every dollar goes. And so okay. when we say automate, we say reduce everything so it's 20 minutes. Automate your rent, talk to your landlord, remove any financial decisions about having to pay bills. You've already, you've got, I mean, you should be focusing on income creation. And so remove the management of money and focus on the goal. It's so true. I, I, the, the amount of hours that I think a lot of people spend finding their bills, Paying their bills in the most inefficient way oh. is a massive time suck. It, it, it's constantly being on the defense, and what you're saying is, you know, automate the defense. Go up, spend all your time on financial offense. Absolutely, yeah. and and it, it's just the first step, right? Because once you take care of those that minutia, yeah. then then you focus on income, and that way, when all the money comes in, it just flows. Totally. Okay. Next question: What do you buy? after you've played all these things. What, what, what kind of assets, what assets do you like? Yeah, yeah, so I, I, I love real estate. Um, I'm starting to get into that game. I've spent a lot of time in index funds and you know, there's a lot of pros and cons of investing in index funds and, and there's a lot of different assets. I mean, the key is to invest. Right. We, we invest 15% of our income into index funds for the sole purpose of kind of like a millionaire emergency fund. Yeah. So let's just say that okay. nothing else in life works out. <laughs> okay. So none of our real estate investments, none of our businesses, we just end up, all we have at the end of life is this these index funds. Okay. We're kind of a millionaire no matter what. Sure. And so getting used to not necessarily having to worry about that money and then building the rest of your income and acquiring the assets with what's less left over, it's kind of peace of mind knowing, hey, in, in 40 years, yeah. I, I've got I've got the money no matter what. You're diversified. So 15% is what you recommend. It is. That's what you're currently doing. That is. Okay. And then uh, you set a goal, I want to buy a real estate property, and you need 30 grand down. Yep. Money just funnels into a bucket? Yep. So, so money after that, after you're taking, after you're investing, after you have a six month emergency fund and you've eliminated pretty much all of your consumer debt, um, you're going to start buying re- real estate or businesses or whatever that may be. And it's kind of just pick your poison. What do you like? Yeah. Okay. And uh, if you, you, there's a, 
there's a bunch of different ways you can make money. But sure. now when you start investing at that point, you have the foundation. So you've mitigated the risk that if those things don't work out, you're not screwing yourself over if uh, if things don't go the way you'd hoped. Totally. Okay. So, so I'm going to ask you a question. What, you know, you're in the teaching, the coaching space. Yeah. What's been your most awesome victory moment where you've seen somebody take what you've done, your course, your knowledge, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or your video course, and change their life, do something awesome? What's been kind of like that, aha, I feel so good, emotional, I guess, return on investment? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. We've helped, I mean, we've helped people save or pay, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars and start to acquire assets and then, you know, pay off hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt and that that is a great feeling the most important thing that we've ever done though is when people come and says hey you saved my marriage and <laughs> dang dude that, that's, that's pretty heavy that that's is, awesome it is heavy and you know at the end of the day i'm like let's go let's go make some money yeah but if i have money i don't have my wife and my kid yeah. like i don't i don't care <laughs> Yeah. And so, it's a problem, man. And I, I see too many people. I've interviewed too many millionaires who have it all, but they have nothing. And yeah. I'm not going to be yeah. that person. So well, one one thing that I love that you're talking about here is I've, I've always believed that true wealth and the best ideas come at the crossroads. Is what I call it. So so for a lot of people, if you just get one thing, you're pretty much a freelancer, you know, or you're good at one thing. Yeah. But if you can add one more thing and and find the crossroads for you, it's money. And like family relationships, all in one, making a ton of like getting rich while keeping your family. That's a that's a niche. That's a new niche that a lot of people focus on. Get just getting rich, and a lot of people focus on family, you know, and, and counseling. But you kind of focus on both. Yeah, you know, it, what I was kind of just scratching my own itch. I said I want to be rich, and I also want my family. Sure. So how do I combine the two? Stick the best I, of everything. Yeah, yeah, I want real estate. I want all this stuff. Yeah. What's the path that gets there that answers my wife's security? Right. And then also the security I didn't even know I needed, and then also allows me to build the wealth. Dude, I love that, man. Totally. Well, dude, tell our audience where they can connect with you, where they can learn more about you, and get started, man. Yeah. Hey. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, you already know these guys are great. Mm -hmm. If you want more of our content, come to at Sensei Financial on Instagram or visit our website senseifinancial.com. C e n t s e i Financial. We'll hook you up. We've got great programs that work. And then if you just want some free stuff, you can check us out on Instagram. Cool. Boom. Thank you. That's freaking dope. Good job, man. That was awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Just awesome. like that, man. If you are a small business owner, we are looking for you, you, baby. We have developed a free course to help you take your small business and go national in just two to four months. Learn exactly how licensing can take your business to the next level. We're talking explosive growth. Check out the link in the description. It's 100% free.